hello to all my fellow nerds and welcome to Not My House. So, I happened to be dog sitting this weekend and uh, I thought I would take the time with these wondrous natural acoustics in doing my review video for Jack Rabbit's Bulwark Blaster. Now this thing really is one of a kind. It's the first blaster to exist that is top fed horizontal. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to try out the first model of the Bulwark Blaster due to Foam Fest being canceled. Rip. I've been dreaming of a crossbow gauntlet for some time and the only way that that kind of gauntlet can be achieved is if the mag were fed horizontally. I know this looks really weird. If it were fed horizontally like so to shoot out to about preferably 100, 120 FPS. This is the first blaster of its kind to achieve anything horizontal. I got the tool cage set up so this puppy can hit about 160, 170 FPS. Now, it is an automatic blaster, so sometimes using your crony to get readings on this can be a little difficult because even if I try to be ever so light with the trigger, you'll still get at least two or three darts to shoot out. But also keep in mind, I bought this blaster purely for the funsies. Freaking machine. So, some things about the blaster. Uh, other than the obvious with talon mags being fed over the top, this thing, by the way, can take 15 count talon mags. It does not work for extenders, unfortunately. It's slightly larger than my FDL3 short tail. And that's kind of nice because I always look for new blasters that are very compact but still very aggressive. This thing can be a little unpredictable when it comes to consistency and FPS. However, for the purpose that I was buying this for, it, it didn't matter to me too much. Uh, I can just tell you right now that this blaster is super, super fun. It is a big time mag guzzler. I don't think. I own any kind of automatic blaster. It's super compact and it just, you feel the energy from your shoulder all the way to execution. I really love how it feels. This thing really is the definition of just awesome. The first smoother gander, see how we did. I wish there was an easier way to actually measure this yard, but Hey, at least it is a backyard as opposed to a public beach. All right, let's see. Well, I'm starting to get some. I think these were kind of, sort of, backfire from the bushes. At least I think so. A few in here, a few here. The consistency is not the greatest, but uh, I'm pretty sure there's some buried in here. So I'm gonna have to look for that later. I love this blaster so much. So yeah, I really love this blaster a lot. Now, those were a few of the positives that I've had with this blaster. However, it's worth noting a few caveats. So first things first, this thing is not cheap. I got it pre-built and I kind of went more on the more expensive. For me, this thing cost about $300. Cheapest you're gonna get is the raw license itself, which you can print from your home at about $30 a license. You're still gonna have to get the wires, you're still gonna have to know how to wire it, soldering, things like that. This thing is not cheap, but it's certainly worth the money if that was the route that you wanted to go. So, keep that in mind. A second thing to note is that this blaster only takes talon mags 15 count. It doesn't take the extenders, unfortunately. But when I am reloading, I have to take my hand and glide it on this tab here that will release the spring inside to pop out the talon bag. Now, if you notice, the way that it's popped out isn't popped out a whole lot, so you're still gonna have to take your hand and slip it out of the blaster. Depending on who you are and how aggressive you reload your mags, this can be a bit of an issue because if you slam it too hard, you're never gonna get the darts to fire out on your next mag. Or, like what happened with me, when you take it and you're not careful and you slam it into the blaster without pulling the tag, 
your back plate is gonna yeet in a whole another direction. There is a wheel inside with a hook that will catch onto the dart and release it outward. The way that you unjam it, you're kind of gonna have to tuck it underneath the wheel. You may need a bit of practice in doing this effectively while on the field, but thankfully it's not too terrible. I have been going to a couple of games lately, uh, though with any games that I do go to, I try to be sure I space them out and be sure that I'm social distancing, wearing masks, things like that. United Nerf Ops was having a game about a couple weeks ago and I was able to bring this out onto the field and give it a try. I may try to work in one more game before season's end, but I really had a fabulous time with this blaster. I was getting really stressed out uh, with some personal things going on in my life and that led to a compulse buy of the Bulwark Blaster. I hope this blaster becomes more frequent in the future. I really, every time I use it, I have such an amazing time and I hope that when we are able to go to large scale events again and we are able to embrace again, uh, we can continue to share these ideas and we can continue to love and support one another no matter how kick-ass or silly our blasters may be. So, the bulwark definitely fell into both categories, but those are my thoughts. Let me know in the comments section below if you own a bulwark or have an interest with the bulwark. Go on. But until we can all meet again, until we can embrace once again, this is Archer reminding you to stay classy, stay awesome, stay ridiculous, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy, everybody. Hi.